guys, it's Jonja. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I feature my updated Tiffany collection. Now, <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I filmed anything with Tiffany in it. It may be a year or two, I don't recall. Um, but someone did request, I think it was Nat, who requested on Instagram. <laughs> she requested an updated Tiffany video. I was like, you know what, I've been meaning to do that. Um, so here it is. It's it's a little bit embarrassing how quickly it's uh, grown. <laughs> That's typical, typical, kind of the same thing with my Pandora, my troll beads. Uh, my Pandora collection uh, grew exponentially over the last, I don't know, 10 plus years that I've been collecting. Um, and now it's starting with Tiffany. But you know what? <clears throat> That's not going to happen with Tiffany because I realized something. Oh, hi, baby. You want to say hi? Come here. Hello. Hi. Oh, you guys can see right here. She got shaved. <laughs> Thank you for the kisses. They, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you have known that my little girl here had to be hospitalized um, for kidney failure, which she's in stage three now. Oh, you're so cute. So, <laughs> you want more snacks. I know. It's good that you're hungry. I love you so much. I love you so much. But you're in my shot, so you gotta move. Okay, come here. Oh, see Daisy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, they shaved her little uh, foreleg in order to put the catheter in and give her her fluids. So, um, yeah, but she's 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 okay. She's all right for now. We gotta wait for one more doctor's appointment, huh? To see how you're doing, right? Yeah, but she's doing okay right now. Anyways, back to this. <laughs> I forget how she likes to come in and visit me while I'm filming. Um, I apologize for the harsh lighting. We've got some really harsh shadows going on here. Fortunately, it is the time of the day. It is about 4.30. And I did mean to get this done earlier, but once again... Oh, hey, babe, if you stay right there, you actually help my lighting. <laughs> Can you stay right there for like a half an hour? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I meant to do this earlier in the day, but once again, things happen. Life happens, and I was not able to get to it. So, oh, look how harsh that lighting is. <laughs> Maybe I should try to put something in front. Let's try that. Ninja just gave me a really good idea. Okay, so hopefully this won't really disturb her. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and put that here. Oh, look at that! That did help. Thank you, Ninja. If it wasn't for you, <laughs> I would not have thought of that. Okay, so my lighting is much better now. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Alright, what was I talking about? Yes, my updated... Oh, okay, so no, no, I remember now. So, uh, I did think... <laughs> that my Tiffany collection was going to start growing exponentially. It is not because the prices are ridiculous. Um, I started to buy some of these things pre-loved or, um, yeah, pre-loved used <sighs> um, because the prices are <coughs> much more affordable. I will try to remember and I'll tell you which ones are were brand new from store and which ones were brought, bought pre-loved. But uh, yeah, it's just it's it's ridiculous and I've realized too that the more I buy, the less I'm going to wear. Same thing happened with Pandora. I had so much Pandora that I wasn't wearing it. I wasn't wearing a third of the stuff that I have. So when the pandemic hit and I wore it even less. So better to, all right, under the bridge, go ahead. There you go. <laughs> better to keep my collection a little bit limited um, so that I can actually enjoy what I have because if not, then it's not going to get worn either. And and these pr pieces are so expensive that I just, I can't have that. So let's just get, dive into it since I'm talking so much. People are going to start complaining about how much I'm yapping and no, con no content. Because we just love those people who love to complain about every little thing. Anyways, <laughs> let's start with the rings. So I'm going to try to push things over here aside. Start with the rings first. So this right here. This was the very first ring uh, purchased by Hubby. Um, it was for my birthday of 20, I wanna say 2021. It could have been 2020. I don't recall. It could have been 2021. Um, and the reason you guys don't see me wear this very often, it's because I had something bad happen to it, really bad. So long story short, this was part of my birthday gift. It was this and the, I think the matching, not the matching, the necklace I'll, I'll refer to in a minute. 
I believe this is a poem, what, hold on. Okay, so this is the poem of Picasso, Olive Leaf Bypass Ring. And I just tried it on because it was there and we were in, I think, San Francisco. And Hubby surprised me with it. I didn't think it was uh, going to be purchased. We were there for another item, but he, he's always very generous with me. And he spoiled me with his extra surprise. So I really love this ring. I really do, and especially because it's my very first Tiffany ring. But the thing that happened <laughs> is we were, uh, I, I kind of held off wearing it because I like to keep my things pretty. And so what happened is I think this was a big purchased towards my birthday. So it was at the beginning, no, the end of October. And I hadn't worn it yet. And one day, three, three weeks later, we were going to go do a pickup, a grocery pickup. You know, back, um, like I said, I had a pandemic. We were picking up our groceries and we went to go pick them up. And I was wearing this ring because I thought, you know what, I haven't worn this ring yet. It's been three weeks, it's my birthday. Why not try it out, put it on, you know, let, let it get some air. <laughs> and what happened was it caught on the window. You know, the windows of your car have this like liner in order to keep it, you know, like airtight. Well, I guess this little part right here caught on the liner and it bent it upward. <laughs> it deformed the ring completely, really bad. Um, if I have time, if I remember, I'll insert pictures so you guys can see, because I, I kept the pictures. I was gonna delete them, but I was like, no, let's keep them. <laughs> and completely deformed the ring. I was heartbroken. I was like, I cannot believe the first time I wear this ring and that happened. I am super careful, I just, you know, wasn't careful, I guess, enough. And yeah, completely just destroyed the ring. <sighs> I was frantic, so I called the store from San Francisco and I said, this is what happened. Was there what's, you know, I'm thinking it's gonna cost like $75 to get repaired. You know, is it gonna look like new? Did I, you know, break it for real? Like, is it done? And she suggested that I take it to my, uh, like a closer uh, Tiffany <coughs> to me. So I did, I explained to them what happened. And thinking, you know, they're gonna charge me like $100 or something to get repaired. Nope, because it was still under the 30 day return policy, they exchanged it for a brand new one. <laughs> so I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. I was like, oh, I was like, thank you so much. Cause it was my, my mistake. It wasn't, you know, it was an accident. It was something that I did. It wasn't a warranty issue. It was something that I did by mistake. So they were very gracious, exchanged it for a new one. And I was like, okay, Wonderful, and I think I've worn it once since then because <laughs> now I know how you can potentially damage this ring and I'm very 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 you know cautious about it now so I'm just kind of like worried that it's gonna happen again so we don't wear this one too too often you know but it is lovely and it's beautiful and I do love it <laughs> all right that's my story behind that ring <laughs> this one is I think is it also the poem of because no it's a graffiti but what is it who designed it I should have been more prepared. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to talk about all my little pretties. Oh, yeah, it is Paloma. Okay, so it's still say Paloma Picasso, uh, arrow, graffiti, or whatever. It's really cute. I really have this thing for arrows, and I don't know why. Um, I had this on my wish list, and I decided to, you know, just check it out just to see what the price was again because I was thinking of buying it, and I couldn't find it on the website anymore. So I freaked out. I was like, oh, gosh, it's going to get retired, and I think it already is. I don't even know. Um, I don't remember if it's retired. Um, it has a really unusual shape. It has kind of like a horseshoe shape, if you guys can see. Which I find kind of cool. <coughs> um, so I called. <laughs> I had extra money. I called and I placed the order. And they shipped it directly to my house. And I am happy with it, but for the price, which I think was $250 to $275, it's, it's not worth it. It's so not worth it. I thought it was going to be a little heavier, a little bit thicker, and it's not. So you really hear with this ring, you're just paying for the, for the, um, you're paying for the brand, you know, and it, it is kind of like thin. So like, you know, if you don't act carefully, you can always get it bent. And I'm sure they can always repair it, but of course it's going to cost money. So this was a little bit of an impulse buy because like I said, I couldn't find it on the website and I was like, oh, I really want this. So I got it. So this is a purchase by me. This was the love, which I think is also, is that also Paloma? Oh my gosh. 
I'm over here thinking I'm like an expert. I'm definitely not an expert. It is an expert. Okay, no, I'm not an expert. It is Paloma. <laughs> All right, so I've always wanted this ring as well. <coughs> so I'm really happy that I got it. Oh gosh, is the sun shifting? I'm gonna keep that here. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, the Love Graffiti. I think there was a bigger version of this back in the day. I was not a collector back then, so I ended up getting a medium or mini. I don't know what this version this is. But I'm really happy I got it. This was a Christmas present from last year. Once again, I thought I was going to get retired or pulled, so I told Javi to get it for me. He <laughs> did. <laughs> so, love, 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 love. <laughs> oh! And then... We come for this one was is the Elsa Pretty Open Heart, I believe. This one right here. Let me double check that. Yes, the Elsa Pretty Open Heart Ring. This is a medium. So they have a small version and a medium version. And I love this ring so much. This was the, the first ring I wanted to get. It's really funny. It's it, it, it never ends up being the one I get. You know, I always end up getting other stuff before. Um, like I said, I got the olive leaf bypass, then the arrow, then this one, then the love. <laughs> I believe this was last year's birthday gift, I think. It's really interesting, too, because I think I would have worn this. Hold on, I've got to play with it. From my personal view or personal preference, I would have worn it this way. So that the heart faces me. And just visually, I like the way it looks. But when I tried it on in the store, I was like... Oh, here, let me show you. Right there. See how... Okay, hold on. You can't really see it. See right there? Right there, how it kind of... Ugh, hold on. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of trouble showing you guys. <coughs> okay, here we go. I think that's a good way. So if you're like... If you do this... You can kind of see... Let me see if I can try to zoom in. See how it kind of lifts up a little bit? I was like, why does it do that? Like, as soon as I did that, I was like, oh no, we don't like this ring anymore. Because you can see how, right here, yeah, see? It just lifts up. There we go. It just lifts up. It's not like, you can imagine how that would catch on every little thing, right? So, when I tried it on the store, the, oops, that's what I, <laughs> you guys like my little, my little grocery bag here to block, block off the light? <laughs> That's what I'm using. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and zoom out that a little. All right, there we go. Okay, so the <laughs> sales associate noticed that I tried this ring on. He's like, "See how? See? You can see it. How it just lifts up." He goes, "No, no. I think you. I, I think there's a certain way you have to wear it, and it's this way." So I had it on backwards or upside down, and I was like, "Oh, okay. I see now. It doesn't really lift up. And if it does, sorry." It does lift up a little bit from this side, but it's like molded better to fit the finger this way. So there is hard, there's not as much lifting, I would say. Plus if I do this, I don't know, it's just, it just seems to fit the finger better this way, which I was like, oh, okay. So now that I knew that, I was like, okay, good. We're good, we're gonna keep it. <laughs> so kudos to the social associate who was like, oh, no, no, no. So I was about to return it. And he was like, no, you're wearing it wrong. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so now from here, we can go into the bracelets. <coughs> so let me show the first bracelet that I got my, that, my first ever Tiffany bracelet, actually, and it's this one. And I know it looks a little bit rough when it comes to uh, tarnish. The reason why is because I've been meaning to make a cleaning video, pitting several cleaners against each other. I've been meaning to make this video for the last couple of years now. I just, it takes a little more organization and perhaps a little help from hubby. So that's why I haven't done it. Um, but I do plan on doing that soon, just because I'm running out of content anyway. <laughs> so, this was the very first Tiffany bracelet I ever got myself. I think I paid $150 for it. <coughs> I was totally in love with the multi-strand chains. <coughs> I did buy it pre-loved, and then I had it adjusted to fit me better, because I like, I like it when my uh, braces um, fit a little bit looser. So this right here <clears throat> is part of the original uh, Tiffany bracelet, and then I added this. And it is real silver, but for some reason it's a little more tarnished than the rest of the Tiffany silver, which is really interesting to me. 
regardless of that, they did a good job because I can't really, I can barely see the seam. It's right, right here, I think, where they joined it, where they soldered everything. But I think they did a really good job. And I only asked them to, <coughs> to um, what it, to add one more ring, and they thought it looked better to have this right here to add the two rings. I think they charged me. Oh, I forgot. I don't remember anymore. Maybe for thirty or fifty dollars. I don't remember. This was pre-pandemic. So it does fit me here on this one. At least back then it did. <laughs> now I'm not so sure. But I, even then I locked it a little bit looser. So then they added this and I was so happy. I was like, I love it. I love it. I love it. So yeah, this is the one, my very, 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 very first Tiffany bracelet I got myself. Cause I was like, not about to start buying me, buying me that stuff, but now he is. So haha, -ha. <laughs> jokes on him. <laughs> so we have this one. And then let's see, I don't know the order anymore. I'm trying to go in order, but I don't think there is an order. Actually, there might be an order. Let me check. Okay, okay, there. I do have an order. Okay, so the second brace that I got from Tiffany was this one. And this one was hubby's, uh, he really liked this one. Um, we were shopping together. It was my very first time at Tiffany. And um, we were shopping for an anniversary gift, I remember. And he really liked the design of this bracelet. And so did I. I loved it because of the talking rings. Um, but I think I already had... Actually, I don't think I have my eye on anything. I think I was just looking for something else. I may have been looking for the olive leaf heart bracelet. It's like it's, It looks kind of like, you know, the olive motif with a heart. You can look it up if you want to. Um, same thing with the strand bracelet. And um, that's the one I was kind of looking at, but then we were just looking at other stuff. So he really liked this. And as we were looking, we started looking at the... Uh, what is it? What's it called again? The Diamonds by the Yard. <coughs> Diamonds by the Yard. Um, Elsa Party. Yes, Elsa Party, but the Diamonds by the Yard. So we started, this caught my eye. Was this one. And I forget what carrot this is. It's not the point three. It's the one on top, uh, um, above that one. Is it point five or point? I'm sorry. I wish it was point five. I think the smallest one is 0.03, and I think this is 0.05. So the 0.03 was uh, 400 back then, <laughs> and the 0.05 carat was 450. So then, of course, I said, well, for $50 more, I, I get a little more carat. <laughs> so we ended up getting this one and this one together as my anniversary present two years ago because he owed me <laughs> he owed me <laughs> so I consider this 2020's if it was 2020 I think it was 2020 uh, a 17th anniversary wedding anniversary and this is our 20th dating anniversary and I mean dating as in total years together so it's not obviously we're not dating anymore but oh, arm hair huh um yeah, this is our 20th, like, total years together. This is why we call it dating anniversary. So that's why I'm wearing it. These I wear it all the time. So, yeah. So they've got this and this beauty right here. And I was super, super happy, super thrilled. And then, because back then, he owed me a 20 and 25. <laughs> We've been together for a long time, you guys. He also owed me a 25 dating anniversary get so then we bought this this is the three diamond one the 0.03 so this is 0.03 so this is a 0.09 total carat weight so this is the one with three diamonds on it so it is slightly smaller than this one if you guys can see ever so slightly yep so this is 20 this is 25 <laughs> And I think, <laughs> I think next year, it'll be 28 years. Okay, 28. I thought we were already on 30. No, 28. <laughs> He's got time. <laughs> okay. So what's after this? Okay, so then after that, oh, well, no, we're not going in order. We're going, to, we're doing bracelets. So we're going to stay with, stick with the bracelets. Okay. So I think after that, I kind of lose track. I think at this point, I bought myself the Venetian links or Venetian link bracelets. And there is, there's a reason why I got two. 
<laughs> I didn't mean to get two actually. Um, so I made the mistake of shopping Mercari. I will probably never do that again because I initially had purchased the Elsa open heart ring there. Um, thinking it was uh, authentic and I think it wasn't. So I ended up returning it, which was such a hassle. So I was like, you know what? I'm never doing that again. I was too hard. So the next thing I was interested in was the Venetian link. So back then I, I was still, you know, shopping Mercari. Um, who was talking to me? It's shopping Mercari. So I purchased this one first and they said that it was like an excellent condition. And when I purchased it, it was not in excellent condition. It was in, I would say, fair or good condition, not excellent. And it wasn't as shiny as I wanted it to be. So I got bummed out. So then I bought this one that was in better condition, but you can't really tell like in on camera. It's more of a, a the naked eye. You can see this one's slightly shinier than this one. <clears throat> and I think I spent 120 and 150 on each. So the intention was to sell one off on eBay and keep the nicer one. But because Jondra's an idiot, <laughs> she likes how it looks stacked. <laughs> so I ended up keeping both. And the reason for that, here we go. So I love using these like type of little extensions. I buy these on eBay and Amazon all the time. So in case you're kind of not knowing what I'm talking about, this is the original Tiffany right here. And then this is an add-on right here. The little officer clasp, it adds like I think three quarters of an inch length. So these are both the same size. <coughs> but because I have this kind of permanently on here, it kind of adds an extension because I am not about to go to Tiffany and spend $75 plus to have it professionally extended. Especially if one day my pipe through losing enough weight happens and then I lose all this weight and then now I have all these extra large braces that don't fit me now and I have to go back to Tiffany spend another $50 $75 to get it readjusted. So I rather spend the $10 to buy these, you know, to adjust myself. And then if I lose the weight, I it's immediate. I don't have to go to the store. You know, I don't have to pay the money. I don't have to wait three weeks or whatever it takes for it to come back. So my little hack for that. So yeah, we got these both at around the same time meant to sew one back on eBay and then I just didn't do it because I like the way they look together. <laughs> okay, I think the one brace after that that I got was this one right here and I literally lost sleep over this one right here. Uh, I don't know how I even came across it. I think I was just shopping for Tiffany bracelets in general and this popped up and I got it for a really good price too, about a hundred and some dollars, 150. That's about average, I think, how much I spend on these bracelets. And that's about how much I want to pay for them. I don't want to pay $300, $400 for them, especially if they're pre-loved. This was pre-loved, and I think it came in pretty good condition. It's a little bit scratched and dinged up, but you know, that's it's okay. It's pre-loved after all. Um, I also added a little extra to it, again, to elongate it. It does fit without it. So the clasp, you know, goes here and then you have your little dangle and these kind of anchor on top of your wrist so that this dangles down. Beautiful design. And again, in order to me to layer it and if I want to be a little bit longer, I just add that here and I add that to here. And once again, it's not that noticeable and it, you know, Again, if I want to make it shorter, I can in an instant without having to add or take away links. This is more vintage Tiffany, but I don't know what year. The hallmark is a little bit messy and it was concerning at one point, but I did realize that I, as I compared it to other bracelets, they have the exact same hallmark. So if you can see that because the light's starting to peek up again. Yeah. Apparently there is a heart version, which I did not like as much. And there is a star version, which is apparently very rare because I cannot find it anywhere. I don't know what it was called, unfortunately, so I, I can't find it. But I, I still have a lookout, you know, I look on eBay and 
Facebook selling groups and maybe one day I'll find it. It'll star be cute to have the star in the moon. But I've seen this go up to, uh, up to about $400. So I'm like, huh, I guess I'm lucky I found mine for $150. <laughs> Alright, so that's my pride and joy. So I remember like texting her and asking her, are you the original owner? And et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> All right, after that comes this one right here, which I bought myself as well. I love this because it's just so delicate and just so precious and it's just such classic Tiffany as well. And I think I spent 25 for this. This was, I bought brand new in store. I actually had a little bit of money saved up and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. And hubby was with me and I was like, you're not gonna help me upgrade? He goes, nope, <laughs> it'll look fine. So I got this one myself, again, just because it was on my wish list. And I love wearing this with this one. <coughs> ah, what's next after that? Oh. <coughs> next, I bought myself this one. <coughs> and I'm really, really, really happy I bought it uh, the time that I did, because very soon afterwards, they discontinued this, which was $400. And they re-released it with a little micro diamond right there. And they are now charging $600 for that. So I'm like, yeah, no. I'm not going to spend $200 more on um, a little tiny itty bitty diamond. I mean, unless you want that luxury. But I don't need it. i I rather have the, you know, silver. I feel kind of bad because it's, you know, it's going to get a little scratched up. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be, right? That's, you have to, so you're loving your jewelry, you wear it, so. This one was also purchased from, but like me, I bought this myself. I wanted Hubby to buy it, but he was like, nope. <laughs> I was like, all right. So I bought this one myself. And I'm really happy I did. Um, again, $400 this was before the price increase and before they retired this one. I literally, I think I bought it a week before they retired it. So I'm like, yes. And I think Kate from My Fave Jewels on Instagram, she purchased hers first. And I was like, oh, I need to buy mine too. I need to buy mine too. And I just finally went and did it. And I'm really happy I did because, like I said, after that, they re retired it. And you can only buy it from the store with a little diamond, which, again, is to me not worth it. And uh, let's see, after that, I purchased myself this one, which I'm really happy I did. I tend to gravitate towards this one all the time um this was i bought off of ebay as well and i don't i think i've been i spent 175 on it or 135 i don't know it's always like a one it's always between a 130 and 170 dollar range i'm not willing to spend more than that on ebay and i love it because i think it's a little bit longer i think it's about eight inches which i'm really happy i bought because the links are so big that it still wears as a 7.5. If you guys know what I mean, the longer, the thicker, the the the, the roller links. It's like when you stack rings. You know, the, the the more you stack, the um the smaller the diameter gets. So same thing with big links. So yeah, this one was a little rougher in condition. Like it's it's pretty. You know, it's been well loved. It's pretty scuffed up and scratched all around. Um, but I really love it. I just love the way it looks. I love the fact that you can take this off. I have trouble with it. <laughs> if I want to wear this as a necklace, just like a pendant, you, I can. <coughs> this is massive. It's heavy. And I think it's more of the old school pen. Uh, that's because Pandora. Um, where it's got the... I you can see it. Focus. There we go. You can have the, have the hallmark is on the... Um, the link so it's a little bit yeah see the difference yep so really love it I tend to just grab this one a lot um, and I like it too because I can adjust it I can either wear it here like this you know with this or if for any reason I'm feeling like I'm gonna stack with other bracelets I can pick a different link And wear it this way. So I have like a little dangly. <coughs> so it's kind of like self-adjustable. I love that. I love that I can customize it. So, uh, yeah. This was a, my own purchase as well. So you can see Hubby has, has, you know, 
donate to, to, towards the cause. He's, he's purchased quite a lot of pieces, but then there's me who's purchased a lot more. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it for my bracelets. And I will save the best for last. Not the best for last. I'll save what I got because a couple of weeks ago I showed on my Insta stories that I just uh, came back from Tiffany. Um, but I didn't show anyone what it was. Unless you DM'd me and then I showed. <laughs> But I did not show anybody, everybody that. So I'll show it today. It won't be an unboxing because I already obviously like, you know, unboxed it. It's already in my jewelry box. Have I worn it yet? No. I will wear it tomorrow because tomorrow or today, depending on when I upload this, is my wedding anniversary. We've been together for 19 whole years, you guys. Not a long time. 19 years. <laughs> Anyways, before I continue, let's go ahead and showcase the only pair of earrings that I have. Once again, purchased through eBay. And I love the story behind this. I think it was a girl who was like, uh, my ex bought me these and we're not together anymore, so I'm selling them. And I was like, oh my. So, I think I also got this for 150 I feel like I always go to 150 150 It's a, That's approximate. That's about how much I'm, I'm willing to spend on these. So once again, these are the matching. The matching what? The matching, um, was it Picasso? Yeah, probably. Pablo Picasso. I think she was his daughter. Um, Paloma Picasso, right, with the olive. So I kind of fell in love with this whole line, and I really thought these were pretty. Like ear climbers, they kind of tend to shift a little bit. They don't really stay up, but that's okay. So we have, you know, I kind of like to always have them like this so that they're. Wait, there we go. There we go. I like to bunch them up like this so that I don't lose them. So I don't really have a place for these, so they just kind of go back into the little pouch. And yeah, these are the only earrings I have. Um, I like earrings, but like I said, I don't wear them too much because you can't really see that I'm wearing them. Um, plus, for Tiffany earrings, as I say, they're a little bit overpriced, so I'm not about to... <laughs> I'm not about to spend all this money on earrings when I can get bracelets and rings and necklaces. Um, okay, so let's go for the first, very first Tiffany necklace that I've ever got. And this, it's this this one. It's the matching one from the bracelets. So, oh, I still have the extender on it too. <laughs> so hubby really liked the bracelet, right? We talked about that. So one day we were gonna go out on a Sunday. I think we're just gonna go out and like just do some window shopping and just kinda go out and, you know, just not be at home. Um, the lockdowns were over by this point and we were starting to get some freedom back. So I wanted to wear this and I was like, you know what, wouldn't it be really pretty if I got the necklace instead? So I remember putting it on and then going to the car where he was waiting for me and I said, you know what, would you mind if maybe I end up exchanging this, you know, um, for the necklace instead? And he goes, why? I'm, don't you love it? I'm like, I do love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. He goes, but I, I, would, I think I'd rather have the necklace because... I already have, I think I was wearing, I don't know, these. I was wearing a combination of these and maybe something else. And I was like, wouldn't it look really pretty if I had the, the matching necklace? So he goes, I'll make you a deal. Because if you keep this, and I forgot what the deal was. I don't remember what the exchange was. Because, but if you, um, maybe I have to help pay for it. Like 50 bucks or whatever. Because if you help me pay for it, I'll buy you the matching necklace. And I was like, uh, yeah. So I, we did. <laughs> So I think I helped pay for it. I think I, I spent like 50 bucks or, and then he paid the difference. And I can't recall how much it was. A little bit expensive because, you know, everything in Tiffany's expensive. So I have to say, I just love this necklace. I love that it makes that little, that noise. Um, it does pain me a little bit that because these are constantly, you know, jingling. That I do have swirl marks now here. You know what I'm saying? It's good. It's ine inevitable. It's gonna happen because it's you know it's hitting against each other. So that is inevitable. But I do love this uh, necklace a lot, and I'm really happy that I have the matching pair. I have not worn this very often, um, but I do love it, and I do wear the necklace a lot more. I have to say. So. Yes. So it's one of my favorite necklaces, <coughs> and that's what I'm saying. Is the more I have, the less I'm gonna wear. So, that's why I decided that I'm going to slow down considerably on my Tiffany purchases because the more I have, you know, it's not going to happen. Alright, let's go next to 
a piece here that I suspect may be fake, Tiffany. <laughs> Hubby bought it off of eBay. And I don't think he knew better, so who knows? It could be real. I don't know. It's really hard. That's why I say that Tiffany fakes are really hard to spot sometimes. Get a little tarnished. So it's the I love you heart tag. It's been long gone. If it's a fake, it's a very good fake, I gotta say. So this is my chain, by the way. Okay, so don't think that chain... Because Tiffany doesn't use this chain. They use their, you know... This chain, which is like a roller chain. Um, this is a box chain. It's white gold. This is my chain. Okay, so he purchased the pendants off of eBay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I think it's fake because it's a little bit thin. Like, I don't know if... Are they supposed to be just as thick as these? But smaller? I don't know. I, I don't have an act, like a heart pendant, so I wouldn't know. For all I know, it probably is real, but I don't know. Um, but I'm counting it as part of my collection because he bought it for me and it was a Valentine's Day gift and, you know, it says, I love you, and yeah, so... <laughs> Who knows? If it is fake, it's a very, very good fake. <laughs> to the point where even I can't perceive if it's fakeness or not. Not that I'm an expert, obviously, right? But usually, sometimes they're, they're really obviously fake. Um, what is next? Oh, yeah. Next is the matching love necklace that I purchased myself. I think I spent $200 on this. I think I overpaid for sure. Um, I think it's... How much is it online? I think it's 300 Hold on, let me check. I think I have... <clears throat> let me double check, guys. Hold on. 300 Yeah, 300 This is... <laughs> this is worth 75 <laughs> 100 maybe, if you really like it. I spent $200 on it. So, yeah. But it is dainty, gorgeous. I love it. And I have the matching necklace. So, I have not... I think I've worn this one so far. Oh, gosh. Is that dirt? Or tarnish? Ugh. I guess storing them in my jewelry armor is not good enough. Gotta clean all this. Anyways, yeah. Some of these are getting tarnished, too. Like, this one's getting tarnished. This one. This one. Anyway. So, really, really beautiful... Quintessential Tiffany as well. Just not worth $300. Thank you very much. And it wasn't even worth 200 The most I pay is like... You know... I think the most you should pay for that piece is honestly $100. That's how, that's, it's super lightweight. That's what it's worth. <laughs> Alright. The next purchase that I made for myself... Hello. Stop. Is once again the Paloma Picasso Olive Leaf necklace <laughs> I have yet to wear this and this also came pre-loved and I'd say it's an excellent condition excellent condition like there is nothing wrong with it I think this is also $300 let me check and I also spent $200 on this this is a little I think more worth the $200 because yeah $300 because it's a little bit more weighty there's more silver to it versus a love it's more substantial. So yeah, definitely worth the $200 more. I still would not pay $200 though, or $300. I think I would have paid $150. It would have been more fair. But whatever. <laughs> All right. I think we're almost done, guys. I think I've been talking for a while too, so I apologize. Okay. So drum roll, please, for my anniversary gift that I bought. One well, that I bought. That hubby bought me about a couple weeks ago. Um... And it was completely unexpected. It was not something that I thought he was going to buy me. He picked it out himself. Um, he asked me if I liked it. And I was like, yeah, I like it. And he goes, how come it's on your wish list? I'm like, because it's too expensive. <laughs> it's too expensive. Da -da -da -da. Welcome the heart. Oh, gosh. What's it called? Love lock? I don't recall. <laughs> the love lock. And I've seen this floating around. And I was like, oh, this is such a gorgeous piece. But... I'm not even going to tell you guys how much it was. It's too embarrassing. Like, I felt so bad that he spent that much money. And I kept asking him, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? It's okay. Are you sure? He goes, yes, it's fine. I love you. You know, I put you through a lot this year and he has. <laughs> Let me tell you, he has. <laughs> um, 
you deserve it. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I, I still feel bad, honestly. I, I mean, it's so beautiful. It wasn't on my wish list, but the reason why it wasn't on my wish list is it's, it's not, it's too expensive. It's too expensive, but it's gorgeous. And I did buy the large, the medium did fit, but here, let me try it off. <laughs> the medium did fit, but again, I like my braces to be a little bit looser. So I ended up getting the large because it's a little bit um, more comfortable for me. Hold on guys, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble putting it on now. <laughs> <coughs> there we go. Okay. Alright, so it does dangle quite a lot from the uh, wrist. Okay. I actually like that. It just I, I like my braces to be a little bit looser. You know, I think this one dangles the same one as this one. Um, when it, in retrospect, when it comes to when I'm have my hand down like that and it does kind of dangle down like this, the medium one was just a little bit tighter and I was like, oh, it does fit, but I just felt this was better. And I thought I could be so sly and said, well, I'll do the same thing I do with this one, right? If, if I lose the weight, I can just, you know, I can make this adjustable. I can put this on a, you know, on another link. Ow! I just stabbed my in, inside of my fingernail. Oh, oh, great. I hate that. Oh, anyways, so, you know, just like I showed earlier, and I could be all sly about it and smooth and be like, haha, I don't have to get this adjusted. I can just wear it like this. Well, no, apparently Tiffany got a little bit smart. <laughs> and they made the links just a little bit smaller. Oh, wait, hold on, guys. Give me one minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, the links are so small that I cannot fit the, the lock into a smaller link. So I unfortunately would have to get this resized if I lost weight. Um, and a very kind person helped us. This person was not a client consultant or what are they called? They're called client advisors, I think they're called. That's their official title, sorry. I'm trying to take this bracelet off by myself and it's a little harder. Oh, there it goes, okay. <laughs> so this person was wearing the same version, this same bracelet, however, they had the older version. And what I might mean by that is, I think this is the same size lock, but the chain was slightly bigger. And what I mean slightly, I mean, I think it was this big. <coughs> If it wasn't this big, it was at least this big. Okay, I'm pretty sure actually that it was this big. So, so they were wearing this lock with this sized chunk of chunk of chain. And my husband's like, "Oh, I like this better." And the person was like, "Yeah, I'm sorry, they don't they don't make it anymore. It's retired." And we're like, "Oh, you know, because we would have probably opted for this one instead, right?" So. My choice was between this love lock, <coughs> and I'll show you what other choices I had because I really fell in love with another piece that was kind of like a not last minute addition. I did have it on my wish list, and it's this one right here. Oh, you guys, you can see my reflection, yuck. Um, this is so pretty. It is so pretty. I love, loved the way this looked on me. Um, again, super expensive. I was like, no, I, I'm not going to spend that much money on that. I'd rather buy it pre-loved on eBay. <laughs> but we did like the way this looked, but it wasn't worth the price in our opinion. Um, and this one. This one was also, we both uh, liked it. it. This is on my wish list and he liked it too. So the deal was, I either picked between a combination. So the, the deal was, either I get this one. And this one, or I get this one. And I, I didn't know that it came up to be almost the same price. So in my stupid mind, because I only had this bracelet in front of me, okay? <laughs> I forgot about the necklace and I ended up picking this one because I thought that's what he wanted me to pick. It turns out he wanted me to pick this one and 
the I think they called it the Maker's Mark necklace. I don't know. So then when it turns out, when I you know we're, we left Tiffany and I was like, oh, you know, are you sure it's okay to get this one? He's like, yeah, because I kind of wanted you to get the other bracelet and the necklace, but you picked this one. I was like, well, because you picked it out. I thought you wanted me to get this one. He goes, no, I wanted the other one. <laughs> this is a whole mess. So I feel guilty. -er. He's like, it's fine because I picked it out. I do like this a lot. I'm really happy you got it. And the bonus part, guys, okay, the bonus is because this comes out off and so does this. For any reason, <coughs> if I want to, <laughs> I could switch it to the big one and then get the same look from the retired one. You guys know what I mean? So technically, I do have the retired one. If this is the one that they use for the retired one, I don't even know. I think it is. I don't. I never saw it in real life before they retired it. So. I do have this one technically now, don't I? <laughs> and then I have this one, which apparently I don't think it fits this because this, this is too small. They really fixed it so they couldn't. Look how small this is. I'm so surprised that they retired it. Maybe people wanted more dainty ones. Yeah, I don't think this is going to fit at all because it's too big. Let me see. Yeah, no, it's not. I can't even, yeah, get it on there, which is fine. It's not a big deal. But if I want to, I can switch it out and I can wear it with the big chain. <laughs> so, so that's what I got for my anniversary is the the love, if I'm saying it right, because I don't even know if that's the right thing. I just call it love lock. I think that's what it's called, love lock. But yeah, super happy, super happy, super guilty. <laughs> I still feel bad that he spent that much money. So I think he's done. I don't think he's ever going to buy me Tiffany again. <laughs> Oh, although my birthday is coming up <laughs> next month. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm really happy with this one, too. You know, like I said, I, I still feel really guilty about it. But it's it's such a gorgeous piece. It really is. And now I think what's next. <laughs> and definitely, I think the next piece for me is going to be this one, for sure. It's just so gorgeous. It really is such a lovely bracelet it's so dainty and the way I see it too here is each heart represents a member of my family so it's gonna be my husband my mom my dad my sister and me you know or it could be my husband my mom my sister <laughs> hello <laughs> I just my sentiment is getting ruined <laughs> why is it pinner is so weird okay what was I saying so my husband, my mom, my dad, my sister, and maybe, maybe my little baby ninja. My little girl right here, a little heart representing her. Since I don't have any children. So, oh yeah, by the way, I tried this one on too. Oh, I fell in love with it too. I want this one so bad. It's so cute. Plus it matches the little heart thingy that the, you know, the one I just got. And the, they're both soldered on the bracelet, so... They stay put, so that's the kind of like a little bonus. Um, so I think on my immediate wish list, it's this one. Um, yeah, I can't afford that. <laughs> this one. And that one. And I think I'm done after that. Everything else. Well, this one I've been wanting to, but it's... Mm, I could do want it still, but... Has to be the right price. And everything else. I do like this one still too. So we'll see. I don't think Hubby, he's probably done. He's, he's done with Tiffany, which I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't blame him at all. But um, maybe, right? Maybe I could cross my fingers and he could, you know, hook it up again. <laughs> maybe buy me the... Uh, the maker's mark for a necklace and I don't know that little heart with the keys that one's is gonna get retired soon so I'm trying to get that one on my own I can get this on my own not too worried not too worried but anyways I hope you've enjoyed my Tiffany collection video it's grown quite a lot in the last two years since I first started collecting <laughs> or since I first got my you know my very first Tiffany piece which was 
uh, like I said, these, this one right here that I wore all the time, this one and, what, oh, what did I just say? It was this one and this one, right? Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, help me out, guys. Buy my Pandora on my Facebook selling page <laughs> so I can buy myself more Tiffany. <laughs> um, that's primarily what it goes to, but lately it's been going to other things too. Um, but yeah, you want to help me out? Add to my Tiffany fund. Buy from my Facebook selling page. I have a quite a couple of goodies still there. I feel like no one really wants them. Maybe, maybe everyone already has those pieces, or maybe I don't know. Just no one wants them. <laughs> uh, I will put the link below for that. Uh, what is it for that web page? <coughs> Facebook selling group it is open to U.S. residents only only because I do not want you guys to have to pay $50 for international shipping. So it's not that I'm discriminating, it's just that it's ridiculous. Like for priority shipping for Europe, it's like anywhere between $35 to $44 to $50. And if you're just buying the one charm, I don't think it's worth it for you guys. So, but however, you know, if you want to discuss that with me, that's fine. If you're willing to, you know, spend the money, it's your money, go for it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, you have to have PayPal, uh, you have, obviously you have to have a Facebook account, so if you want to join, you can always, uh, you know, send a request. If you live in the United States, I will add you and you will be added and you can peruse, browse, check out what I have for sale. And that's it guys, once again, thank you so much for spending some time with me, um, going through my beautiful Tiffany pieces that I adore. Um, like I said, I don't think I have much more room. Um, before I start slowing down on my Tiffany purchases just because like I said the more I have the less I wear right so Thanks again for watching and spending some time with me and until next time. I will talk to you guys later Bye